Did you know that there's a Project X from 1987? It stars Matthew Broderick, Helen Hunt, and a chimpanzee named Virgil. And as crazy as that all sounds, I wish I'd seen that. Now, I don't know, but I think it's a little crazy that we've had three found footage films in three months this year. But it would totally work if the found footage idea served the genre. We've seen this work with films like Blair Witch Project and Paranormal Activity. However, it should be noted that both of these are horror films which play heavily on the unseen element. And by putting things just outside the frame, it heightens the tension and effectiveness of the film. However, a recognized camera can also work in comedies, as we've seen with Christopher Guest films, The Office, Parks and Recreation, but it doesn't work with Project X for a number of reasons. Lack of human moments, the pretense of filming, especially before the party, is rather paper thin, and why we're seeing these things just comes off as really cheap exposition, and then the film just goes ahead and kind of breaks its own rules. Like, who brought a slow motion camera to the party to film when hot girls showed up? Or who is shooting in the pool underwater? It just doesn't make any sense to me why this mechanic would be applied to a party comedy. I suppose to set it apart, but even if every cell phone and flip camera is an available lens for this movie, you'd think then we'd have access to moments with any character at our disposal. And yet when the main character has an argument with his friend who's a girl and there's obviously some sexual tension there, when you've got so many cameras around, wouldn't you like to see that? I would. We're being robbed of getting to see people act like people. You can look to other party films like American Pie and Superbad, both of which have characters who just want to get laid. And yet in those films that have more characters and more things going on overall, we're more invested with everybody. Also, our main character never really encounters any obstacles. In fact, the whole goal of sleep with the hottest girl in school, he never has to do anything because apparently just because it's his birthday, the hot girl wants to have sex with him. And I'm sure that girls like that exist, but come on, at least give the hot girl some personality. Don't just make her a sex object. Stay classy, ladies. You're better than that. Another huge problem is the party. It overshadows every character. Or maybe it's that none of the characters themselves are that pronounced. Seriously, this film is 88 minutes long, and maybe 55% of it is spent just on party montages. And the worst part about that is you can really sum up the best moments into the trailer. And that's what happened. All the laughs and epic moments were condensed into two minutes? That's not a good sign. Oh, and our main character doesn't learn a lesson. Yet now I'm getting into spoilers a bit, but you don't really care about what happens to any of the characters. But if you do, you can click right here and it'll jump you ahead in the review. That said, they trash the house and destroy the entire block, and when they go to school, they're celebrated as heroes. The main character, Thomas's dad, is proud of him because he's not a loser and he threw a party that destroyed his house. And the girl who he had an argument with is just like, oh, well, you say you're changing, so I'll come back. Like, what? You have to realize I feel like a real stick in the mud saying things like like this. And even more so for using the phrase stick in the mud. But a moral for your main character goes a long way. Harold and Kumar may have crazy raunchy adventures, but they learn something each time. And we like to believe that people can change. That said, there are positive attributes of Project X. Like the soundtrack's pretty good. Although the best song is also used in the trailers. <sighs> well, I tried. You don't get points for trying. Sorry. Project X is like going to a party that some strangers are throwing. And you party for a little bit and you have some fun. But when you leave and you still really don't know that much about the people who are throwing the party, that's what this movie is. You never really care about your hosts. And that's a shame. Although really, not much can compete with Matthew Broderick and a chimpanzee. So those are my thoughts on Project X. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you like, you can check out previous reviews. As for me, I'm just going to try to think about what the sequel titles for Project X would be. Project X2? No, people would confuse it with X-Men. Maybe Project Double X? No, people would think that would be a prequel to Triple X. I suppose it could be called Project XY, since this film really was just a teenage boy's wet dream. Oh wait, the sequel's never getting made. If it does, I don't know what I'll do with myself.